right, so this week for It Goes Down in the DM, we have a wide range of DMs that I have gotten this week. Or actually, over the last couple weeks. Okay, we care. Let's, Let's see. start this out. Let me bring my, my reading glasses on. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Put on my reading glasses. <clears throat> Let's zoom in for this one. <clears throat> this one I feel bad for, to be honest. It was a, a, I would consider a fake profile. They said, hi, just wondering if you could block my husband, blank, <laughs> who is following you on TikTok on his TikTok account. He has an addiction to subscribing to women online and he cannot afford to keep doing this. I would appreciate it. Thank you. No disrespect or offense intended to yourself from, and thank you for reading this if you get it. So did I look him up? Absolutely. You got any kids? I don't know. I just looked up the TikTok account and he follows at least 2,000 women on TikTok. So did she message 2,000 women? The same thing on Instagram? This motherfucker right here. Like, so let's. Wait. I'm assuming she's saying he's subscribing to like OnlyFans only fans. girls, but he's following them on TikTok. So there's 2,000 girls he's following on TikTok. So 2,000 girls he's probably OnlyFans following uh, too. Maybe. Give I or don't take. Know. Let's say 1,000. But she's saying he doesn't, he can't afford it. Like, yeah, he needs because to he's. stop and he has an addiction. Uh, so she's not wrong. What is me gonna, what is me making him, uh, unfollow me gonna do it might know. save him 12.99 or whatever it costs I, for your but holy shit if you got an addiction me unfollow me i don't follow him me blocking you isn't gonna solve the problem is what i'm saying listen if, if you're watching this my friend if you have a problem if you have an addiction get help get help yeah. there's a hotline okay they have a gambling hotline and they also have an only fans addiction there's hotline. sex there's sex addiction a hundred percent. If you're addicted, Help. you know, what you need to do, you need to take your phone and throw it out the fucking window. <laughs> That's what you need to fucking do. Okay? Yeah. Listen, don't spend your last 15 on on Ruby, on, on Ruby Red. Instead, go get that milk for your children. Okay? Because they're probably thirsty. You know what I mean? We know you like probably like milk. And you probably drink milk for fun. A hundred percent. All right? Don't spend that extra twenty five ninety five to get, uh, you know, Ruby Red. You know what I mean? Don't. Throwing some ass. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, sorry. You know, maybe, you know, squatting. Squatting? That's <laughs> oh, no. not what I do. Oh, I don't know. I don't be on there. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. Thank God. <laughs> All right. Keep that in there, Zeke. <laughs> next one. You fine as wine and bright as the Nile. Hmm. How would you rate that? Pick up it's positive. I give it a little dry. You fine as wine, bright as the Nile. Okay. Yeah, all right. I'll give you a five out of ten, bro. You okay. maybe could have been you more tried? creative. Yeah, creative. You know, you know. All right, next. You know, I'm fucking with you. Just a quick one. This, oh. one, this one gets good. Oh, I love good. <clears throat> <clears throat> Dear Aubrey Red, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing to express my interest in the open slave position <laughs> at your newly built home. <laughs> As a highly, <laughs> I'm trying to keep a straight I face. I I'm trying to keep a straight face. <laughs> 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 All right, get it together. <clears throat> as, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. As I'm a highly skilled and experienced slave, I'm experienced. I am fucking a. I am confident <laughs> that I possess the qualifications and expertise necessary to excel in this role. Oh, he want to excel. I am excited about the opportunity to bring my skills and experience to your house and to contribute to your continued success. Thank you for considering my application. And it's the white man, by the way. Just saying. <sighs> so this is his cover letter I, I, to his application, I guess, in my DMs. I, I just... I, I didn't know I had a open position for... For that, I don't remember posting a job like. Uh, maybe it was on Indeed. Now hiring. No, holy shit! I I, I have no words. I think my expression. He said, as expressed. a highly skilled and experienced slave. This is not his first rodeo. This is not, he's insane. like, I got all the experience you need. Oh my goodness! Here's was, my here's my references. That was funny as fuck. Yeah. All right, next one. Oh, I'm crying. That was a good one. That was good as fuck. I hope they get better than better than that. <laughs> <clears throat> love your belly button. So at, you at uh, six in the morning. 
So you saw this picture here. Can we zoom in, please? It's me in a bikini. I know, but I'm saying you saw this picture and you said, love your belly button. Mm Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. I mean. Thanks for the compliment. Maybe it's because a lot of girls have the. The Audi? What? I was thinking like it. Mm. Belly buttons could be innies, Audis. But you know how rare it is I've seen to see Audis? I haven't seen that many Audi belly buttons in, in my life. I think I got an Audi. I don't know. How do you not know? Do you have an no, Audi? No, I got any. I got any. I had a thing. I just think, you know, because a lot of girls have like lipo BBL? and BBLs oh. and their belly buttons oh, look a little shoot, funny, shoot. right? I, I'll be You can always tell. Much. And there's nothing yeah, wrong with can. it. But I feel like you can always tell when girls have a fresh lipo or BBL. <sighs> yeah. It looks a little stretched. Well, that was nice of you, sir. We appreciate the compliment and the positive yeah, vibes. I think it was a, a positive thing. Yeah, next. All right, this one, just the bottom section. <clears throat> This is on Facebook, by the way. Hmm. He replied to a story. He said, awesome as usual, but your face is looking thin, not fleshy and healthy as it used to be in previous videos. Please try to look plus size, not eye size. Sir, why are you yelling? All caps means yelling to me, so. Oh, we got that. Thank mm-hmm. you. Yeah. Um, Please try to look plus size. I think he's just very upset that, you know, you're... That I'm not as thick as I was? Yeah. I think that's really frustrating. Him. Your face is looking thin, not fleshy and healthy. I would think... Damn, face is my shit not... Now? Yeah. What the... Am I, like, looking I... like a skeleton? That's crazy. I mean, but... Yeah, no. I have giant cheeks. I've had these my whole life. They're not going nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. So... So... All right. Well, thank you for the feedback, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah. <clears throat> Next. Hi, dear... I would like to have a romantic date with you here in Dallas for two hours or a weekend session. Please let me know. A weekend session? What the fuck? I am not a fucking escort. (laughs) What the fuck? Why do you think I will go for two hours or a a weekend session with you? That just sounds like a... I don't know what you thought this was, but it ain't that. No, it's not. I am am only... I only exist online, okay? Uh, that's all I'm going to say. Until you run into her in person. Hey, that's rare. <laughs> I only happening. exist online. Okay, well, thank you for the feedback, sir. Thank you. Or no. No, yeah. no yeah. thank you. Oh, this should be good. Love the emojis. <sighs> I am a guy who really likes you, and I and I madly in love with your huge body, and I wish I was by your side to nurse your ass. Your beautiful breasts and your delicious lips. Thousands of emojis. The beautiful breast part just cringes. I just cringe like hella hard on that. Like it just. Ugh. Like that. How just, does one nurse an ass? I don't. It's probably just gonna. The baby and shit. Maybe cuddle it. You know. You, know. you ever seen that video with those two? Hey, you know what video? We're gonna send that video. So yeah. Um. That's probably how you nurse an ass. You know mm. what I mean? Um, you know, he wants to see your beautiful... Br- I just can't say that. It's just it's throwing me off. Mm-hmm. And your delicious lips. Well, those are fake. Um, yeah, they are. Yeah. So, you know, I remember when Aubrey had no lips. Shut the fuck up. I'm just being honest. If we could put a picture here. Thank you. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> I hate you so much. Oh, I have a picture. Your huge body. All right. Yeah, you could have said, like, gorgeous. Like I don't know I if it's lost like, in translation or what. I don't know either. But thank you for the feedback. This one was a com- comment on my YouTube channel. I said it once. <laughs> he said, I said it once I'm and I'll say it again. again. <laughs> Your significant other better pray every day to have someone as beautiful as you. I've been single for four years, yeah. so I don't know what this is for, saying. Yeah. I, I, but, she doesn't um, have a significant other. And, you know, it's been four years. It's probably going to go another two. So, yeah. Why two? I'm just giving you a, a prediction of what mm. I see in the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Next, thank you for the think, feedback. I just think it's funny when people comment. Like, I always get, like, the, your boyfriend is so lucky. I'm like, they know damn well you ain't got I'm no single as yeah. a motherfucker. For real. Shut <clears> up. <throat> okay. That's a good picture. Sends me my own post, which I don't get that. Sometimes guys just send me my own post and, and no comment. That's kind of weird. And I'm just like, okay, I, I, I know. Like, I posted it. I, 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 I know it exists. Thank you. This one, however, says... You're very attractive, no question. Curious, what's the, quote, oldest, meaning age, would you go out with? 
Just curious. Not asking for me. I live in New Jersey. So who the fuck are you asking for? I don't. Like, I make don't that understand. make fucking sense. You Just did all this work to not ask for, for you. Asking for a friend. Yeah, you are very attractive. Like, no question. Curious. First of all, I don't care how old you are. If you need your friend, then DM me and ask me. That's a problem. Yeah, for a red flag. That's like, goofy. Man up. And ask me your fucking self. Yeah. I don't understand. Is that, is that, is this profile picture of Harriet Tubman? <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> Z, zoom into that. So, no, that's not Harriet, but that's some type of, bro, I think I know who that is. I can't put a name with a uh, face. Yeah. Man, for a second, mm -hmm. I thought, man, let's move on. I'm going to get real. Finish that sentence. For a second, you thought what? Harriet no, Tubman was messaging me? No, no, no. I just, I like, when I seen the picture, I was like, ain't no way this is that brother. Tubman. But then when you when you zoom out, it looked like it could be Harriet it's, Tubman. It sounds like an old, like an old school singer or actor. Yeah, no, like a, like a, like a. I can't think uh, of the name. A Nat Cole. I don't yeah. think that's Nat. Because I know Nat. And that don't, you know. It's but somebody. That's somebody. You know. So damn, how old are they? Now, if this is you, just you know, I can see why you say you're too old, because mm -hmm. this picture definitely. But he from said not, not asking for myself. True. So it could be his grand great grandchild, because um, oh. this picture definitely from 1927, mm -hmm. and you probably 110. Maybe the math old. ain't mathin, but it's we'll definitely work on not. it. So maybe 19. You know. What? 53. Okay. The picture. Oh my god, this man. You, Next. you heard that right? Next. 1980. All right. Um, how much does a night cost with you? Oh, so, shit. again, with the I think you're a escort comments. A, Jesus. It's not doing what you think it's doing. Yeah, no. It's definitely not. Thank you for the feedback. Feedback? Sorry. Oh, here, here we go. I got to okay. read this in, <clears throat> in a row. He said, how big is your chest? So, I said, how, how big, big is yours? yours? He says, I don't uh -huh. have a rack. How big is your rack? I said, how big is your wallet? Not big. Can you show me your chest? So I said, can you show me your bank account? And now I'm blocked. Damn, so he blocked you. Now I'm blocked. You want to know how, how big my chest is, and I just want to know how big your wallet is. Don't ask questions if you can't respond yourself, you know? That's just, I just don't understand. Like, like I could never... Go into a woman's DM and be like, oh, how big is your chest? Like, like, what type of responses are you expecting? I don't want to have a daughter in this world. I just realized that. Hmm. I wanted girls earlier Jesus today. Christ. Like, I wanted, <laughs> I was looking forward to Okay, when you think back, have you ever DM'd a girl? <laughs> no. Some shit like that, that you regret? No, not like, not like disrespectful. Anything like that? No, not disrespectful. No. Nothing? No. Nothing that if someone screenshotted it, you would be like, fuck, yeah. I, I, I may have said like cringy shit maybe. Or like, but nothing like how big is your rack? No, fuck no. Or I don't even think I want to be your sex slave. Nothing. No, like No, no, no. I, I don't even think I've said like, like I think one of my homeboys said one time to a girl, and I was like, did have I ever said some shit like that? He was like, oh, let me, uh, let me get in that ass. I don't think I've ever said no shit like that. I feel like that's just too. Especially aggressive. first couple messages, you that's gotta what I'm saying. tread lightly. That, I'll, I'll say like, I'll send like, you know how they send the post, right? Like uh, one of the posts. I've said one of the posts and said, damn, you're looking I good. Hate, that bothers me. It's like, comment. Comment on the post. Yeah, but I'll like it though. If you got to send me, here's my thing. If you got to send me my own post and instead of commenting on the post, you got to send it in the DM, you're hiding some shit. No, that's not true because I've, I've yes. commented on posts before. Okay, like that's Firefly. fine. But if you don't comment on the post, but you got to send the post to send me a message, then you don't want anyone to see you're commenting on my shit. Hmm. All right. That's I, a, a lot I of could, women I could feel see, that way. I, I could, I a could lot see of women that, feel that way. No, facts. And, you know, now, now I'm definitely, I know, never doing that it's shit It's different again. if, like, you commented on it and then you messaged me, too. Because it's like you're not hiding some shit. True. You know? All right. These two are, you know, people try to talk to you and then they try to come back around. So, um, What's his first, name? One, so, first one, he messaged me in January. Okay. <clears throat> On hinge and I stopped responding. I don't know why. Then he tries to come back around the end of April and says, "Hey, big head, how you been? I'm back in your city." So my response is, "Have fun." He didn't. He didn't get the hint. He said, "How you been?" And then the same, like, maybe within the same 24, 48 hours was the one right before it. it so then, like, the same uh, couple same, days. Same guy. 
different guy. The last messages we had was from January 2021. So it's been over two years since I've talked to this person. They said, end of April, hey, stranger, I'm in your city again. Have fun. And then he tried to FaceTime me and he said, LOL, it's like that. Yes. Yes, it's like that. Okay. Listen, it's different if we're talking and then you decide to come to my city and you're letting me know ahead of time. But when we don't talk and you just tell me, hey, I'm in your city, I don't care. You know, just why? What was the purpose in this? Yeah, no. Have fun. Like. I don't know what else to tell you. I I hate that, but I also hate I hate when you talk to someone, right? Mm-hmm. And you know, obviously, you tell them, "Oh, I don't live here," or what, whatever it may be, right? Mm-hmm. You, you're not there. Like on Instagram, you see somebody attractive, and you hit them up, and you realize that y'all live in two different states, okay. which is fine. And then she says, "Oh, well, hit me up when you're back here." I hate that shit too. I hate that shit because. The fact that you're saying hit me up when you're back here, you're like, well, damn, you're not even interested to talk yeah. to me to see. You're not like, interested. Yeah, unless see I'm if in I would come same. out there and meet you see, or I'm, not. That's like it's, I see, she's I, expecting this. Yeah, and I'm like, yuck. Like I'd rather you we communicate and then oh, either you're coming into town or you're coming into town to see me. Hundred percent. This is you're just coming into town and you forgot that I lived here, or you remembered that I lived here from years ago, even though we never hung out. Yeah, no. I never I, talked like that. Clearly facts. it ended two over two years ago. Yeah. Like I hate when they say, Oh, hit me up when you're back. No, I sh- the reason I'm in your city is because I want to see you. Yeah. Now I shouldn't have to wait till I come back there for something else or Yuck. another female to then hit you up. Nah, come on, get the fuck out like of here. Like if we're not communicating beforehand. Yeah, hundred percent. Don't hit me up. 